given that A is this matrix and B is this 3 by 3 matrix, evaluate 3A minus 2B. So we have 3, our A is 3, 2, minus 1, 1, 0, 1, 2, minus 2, 0, minus 2, 4, 2, minus 3, 3, minus 1, 1, 0, minus 2, 2. So this 3 have to multiply every entry inside. So we have 9, 6, minus 3, 3, 0, 3, 6, minus 6, 0, minus. These two have to multiply every entry likewise. 8, 4, minus 6, 6, minus 2, minus 2, 0, minus 4, 4. And so if we subtract these two matrices, we have to subtract the corresponding entry. So this first entry subtract this first entry, second entry subtract the second entry, likewise the rest. 9 minus 8 is 1. 6 minus 4 is 2. Minus 3 minus minus 6. So minus 3 plus 6 is 3. 3 minus 6 is minus 3. 0 minus plus 2 is 2. 3 plus 2 is 5. 6 minus 0 is 6. Minus 6 plus 4 is minus 2. 0 minus 4 is minus 4. So the second problem says we should find the determinant of this matrix. So this is determinant of 1, 2, 3, minus 3, 2, 5, 6, minus 2, minus 4. So determinant of this matrix, as usual, this first row multiply the corresponding sub-matrix. So 1 multiplies, if you delete this column and this row, we take the determinant of the remaining matrix. 2, 5, minus 2, minus 4, minus 2. If we delete this column and this row, we take the determinant of these two matrices. Minus 3, 5, 6, minus 4, plus 3. We delete this row and this column. This row and this column will take the determinant of this matrix. 3, 2, 6, minus 2. So the determinant of this is 1 minus 8. You know, minus this, so plus 10. Minus 2. 12 minus 30. Plus 3. 6. Minus 12. And if we do that, 10 minus 8 is 2. Minus 2. 12 minus 30 is minus 18. Plus 3 times 6 minus 12 is minus 6. So we have 2 plus 36 minus 18. So this is 38 minus 18. So this will be 20. So the determinant is 20. B says Mr. Tony took a loan of 120,000 Naira at 12% per annum compound interest to buy a piece of land. If he paid the loan in three years, what was the total amount paid? Remember that formula for amount for compound interest is principal times 1 plus arrow over 100 rest of our number of years and so the principal is 120,000 1 plus 12 over 100 rest of our 3 years and if we add this this will be 120,000 1 plus this is 1.12 over 3 and if we multiply this 
we have 168,591.36 Naira. So this is the amount he's going to pay back after three years. Question two says, find his profit if he later sold the land for 350,000 that he bought at 120,000 without incurring any additional expenses. So his profit will be 350,000 minus the amount he paid back. Profit will be 350,000 minus 168,000. 591.36 which is 181,408.64 so this is profit <music>